Mr. X here with the Extreme Collection, another piece for the Extreme Collection. However, this is not new. This is not new to the industry. This is not new to me. And this is not new to me reviewing it. What I mean is I received this earlier this year. I bought it off secondhand because it's been out for a while. It was one of my personal grails. And um, I went ahead and reviewed it right when I got it in, but there was some data corruption and then I put, I put them in a case before I started reviewing it, so I didn't want to take them out. So I recently redid my throne uh, displays. I think in October we are going to do a room tour of the throne area. And I had them out, so I figured let's uh, redo the review. So let's hit it. Mr. X here with the Extreme Channel, and this is a Batman piece where if you are a huge Batman fan, you're about to cream your pants because this piece is the ultimate Batman piece, which we're going to talk about in concept and design. So this is a custom quarter scale Batman on throne contingency plan, and it's been out for a while, and I was lucky enough to, I knew a collector that had it, and a very solid collector, and I don't think he wanted it because he was getting out of the throne game, but I saw another piece that he wanted desperately. So I nabbed that for a really cheap price and I was able to do an awesome trade where I think we both benefited. So very happy about that. And uh, I love this piece. I absolutely do. And it's ironic that I'm reviewing it right now because I think next week I'm having a Batman uh in cave quarter scale shipping so it's not a throne necessarily but i uh may do side by side but i think that's huge and this guy is heavy as hell the base the chair batman it is one of the heaviest statues for how small it is uh really surprising to me that was one thing that was really surprising to me but uh they made 60 of these i'm not sure what the original retail was and i don't have my tape measure it's over there so uh height wise is just about i know because of the case it was in uh, aquaman's trident goes up about 23 inches or so and totally speculating so it probably doesn't help you at all but uh width is probably about 16 inches and then the same on the depth are very similar i know i measured it on the first review months ago but so uh very you would think very easy to put together, but not. So the base is one piece, the chair is another, and it's kind of a bitch to get in. Uh, Batman is permanently affixed to the chair. Uh, Cyborg's arm, which we're gonna talk about down here, uh, is another piece. His uh, right arm is one piece, his left arm is actually two pieces, and then there's a couple different portraits. So let's talk about all the switch outs that it comes with. So with an ES of 60, they're all the same to my knowledge. But first portrait right here is an unmasked Bruce Wayne, which we will uh, look at closely. Then the second one is a masked Batman. And then you have two different options here for his left arm. One is where he's holding Flash's skull and he's looking at it. And I'm gonna give you a couple different angles here. I actually like this one better, but I don't display it because as you see, you really can't see Flash's skull unless you are behind it. And then the other switch out is where his arm is kind of draping Flash's mask. And again, here's a couple different angles of that. 
So uh, standard uh, custom, it came in the custom white foam, not the black foam, because it's an older piece, so it had shit everywhere. So I hope there's not too much spit on there because I know I'm at least the third owner, if not uh, more than that. But, uh, which I'm, you know, it, it, it hit me today. I'm actually really, really sick. I'm barely able to get through this review. How many pieces do we have that are bought second, third, fourth hand that like someone was touching when they were throwing up? In case you ever buy this from me. I don't think I'm gonna sell it though. But I do have the, like I said, I have another Batman on Throne ordered, a recent custom one. Here's actually a picture of that. And then here's a picture of the Bat Cave that I'm getting later this week, which I will review when I'm back in town. So three is a little too much, but I like them all a lot. So maybe I will sell this one, who knows. But don't, please don't message me asking me. That's like years and years down the road, so. Uh, let's jump into the concept and design of this because this is where this statue, st statue, see I told you I'm sick, this is where the statue is really badass and if, as I said at the beginning, if you're a Batman fan, this is where you really cream your pants because like a lot of throne pieces, they kind of symbolize they've accomplished everything. They've beat all their enemies or in this you know case his teammates and they are the victor, they are the number one, they are numero uno. They're the shit, and that is exactly the case here. He has destroyed all the Justice League. So here's some close-ups we're going to show of the different aspects of that. First. So that first, you have Cyborg's cannon or arm. He has his foot on at the bottom. You guys already saw Flash's mask, but there's Green Lantern's ring on that hand as well. Of course, Aquaman's trident. And then in that hand, he also has a kryptonite ring. And then draped on the back of the throne is Superman's cape. So obviously the big miss is Wonder Woman. Uh, where's Wonder Woman? Could have uh, had her gauntlets or something like that, I think. Uh, maybe someone can have some custom ones made and added to it. But uh, overall, he's sitting with all the vanquished enemies. He's in the Bat Cave, obviously, because it's kind of this computerized electronic uh, base. And he has his throne slash bat chair, has a few light up features. He's sitting in there, relaxed, victorious, kind of showing off. Uh, why don't you come mess with me? Almost like he's the king, the Bat King, which I actually have that statue as well. And you know, one really unique thing in here about the concept is, which I don't like, is the back of the throne chair says Wayne Enterprises. I don't think Wayne would stamp his logos on stuff in the back cave. So that doesn't really tell the story and the concept very well. But of course, this is facing the back anyway, so no one's gonna see it. Design-wise, uh, really, really good with one exception. I cannot get the uh, right foot down. Here's a close up, so it's slightly up. And I don't know if that's just the case with this statue or if it's with everything. Otherwise, no issues with the design. Everything fits in really well. I do worry about a few paint issues right here because when you insert this arm, it's so close to the leg, so it may scratch paint. But I think one other thing with the, the design is there are some scratches and, and uh, battle wear on Batman's uniform we're gonna talk about in the paint and the sculpt, but uh, he doesn't look hurt at all. So that tells me the battle with the Justice League happened a long time ago. That's just a speculation from my part. So with that, let's jump into the paint and sculpt on this. And I think there's a lot of areas in this where it's really good and um, some of it where it's just okay. And thankfully the concept itself kind of uh, balances out the parts where it's just okay. So looking at the base here, this is a part I just think it's okay. First of all, it's so wide and this is more of a design thing. They could have made this smaller because there's a lot of useless stuff on here and the paint, Almost looks like there's uh, water damage on it, and I assume that's it, you know, supposed to be like that. Some close-ups here, and it's kind of this weird puke green color. So I'm not a fan of it. Uh, the coils and hoses are a good effect. They look a little cartoonish though, with the paint and the sculpt. A few nuts on there. The base isn't bad by any means. It has this kind of a uh, blue light-up 
a feature. It doesn't really light up, of course, but you assume that's kind of an illumination on the bottom of the bat cave. Cyborg's arm, our cannon here, again, where it's firing out, I think that's a miss on the paint job. Uh, looks too orangish, too Halloweenish, like a pumpkin. And that wear all over his cannon is similar to what we saw on the Bat Cave. So it's this silver bluish with all these, almost looks like water damage. Then looking at uh, Batman's cape, I really like it. So it looks burnt and cut up and torn and the flow of it. So great job on the sculpt. And I like how they added the paint, you know, not just the classic black paint, but that orangish uh, hinge to really show it. Reminds me a lot of Sideshow Darth Vader Mythos. Good job on his boots. Good sculpt on his boots. Classic Batman boots, what you'd expect. Army utility boots with good tread. And it's a little different shade of black color with some other colorings in there. And then moving up, his uh, shin guards over his boots, his metallic armor, again looks good. And again, has that water effect aspect to it. And that's kind of the same on his knee pads. And he's, you get closer to his crotch area, so there's some non-armored areas or just body armor, not actually metallic armor. So this, it's a bluish hinge throughout. And you're going to find that around his package. Has a good size package just showing off, which is interesting that his body armor would be built around that. Belt, really worn and torn. Uh, classic Batman utility belt. Other, uh, I wish they would have done a bat symbol on it maybe on the front but it's gold and it's very, very worn. And then this is where you see some of that body armor, but it's really uh, bruised up, uh, scratched in his chest here. And then the classic Batman symbol again with a gash right through the middle and it has these uh, white circular dots all throughout it. And you also see those on his shoulder pads. And then his arms look really uh, armored up I really like that. So different layers of armor on there on top of his padding. And his classic spikes on his gauntlets, his arm gauntlets, again, armored, three spikes, look really good. And then let's look at Flash's uh, skull again. Great sculpt on this, great coloring on the bones. Really like it. His hands look great, great job, great sculpt on the gloves. Then, but before we move to his portrait, let's uh, catch a few things of the chair. So here's a picture again of the Wayne Enterprises. Again, it has kind of like that water damage effect all over it. Some gold rings on the sides. And it's this gray, whitish color throughout. Some uh, silvers on the side, or uh, some coppers on the sides. And then two uh, green lights on the armrest that are supposed to be illumination, I guess. And then the Superman cape, I really like this. Uh, it's a lot darker, so there's a lot of black in there, but it's torn and the flow of it just hanging off the top of the uh, chair. Black symbol on the front. Then checking out his mask portrait first. I don't like uh, how little the ears are. I wish they would have done bigger ears. But you can actually see Batman's ears because it's so tight. That's what she said. Really no definition or fold or expression, so you can't see any folds below his mask uh, around his eyes. His eyes have, uh, you know, the eye covers on them gray, so you can't see what's going on. And then his mouth, again, very, very stoic expression. Either he's exhausted or bored or something of that nature. You don't know what he's thinking. They've got uh, some good flesh tones in there, almost a little too pink for me, and you're going to see that on the unmasked portrait, especially in the lips. But he does have a nice five o'clock shadow that's painted on there. That's not sculpt. It's just paint. And then checking out his unmasked portrait. So first the hair looks good. I like how the strands are all uh, uh, going, flowing backwards. Some black and browns in there. Then Bruce Wayne's sculpt, as I said, I think the hues, the tones are way too pink in here. They have that same five o'clock shadow too, that's complete paint, it's not sculpt. He has this glossy look over his eyes and he has a little bit of expression in here. You can see uh, above his eyes, his wrinkled forehead. 
but not much. So he, to me, he almost looks bored in this one as well. I'll probably decide which uh, mask or which portrait I'll display when I get all the other ones. Some I'll display with the portrait. This one does go in my throne collection where the other one's going with my Batman quarter scale stuff. I don't know, the third one comes out next year so I can worry about that later. But I'll probably do a video with all three of them together to kind of see what's going on. I appreciate you guys hanging in with me today. I feel horrible. I feel like really shit. So I got to get on a plane in a few hours too. So. But uh, let me know what your grail is. Let me know something you've been uh, searching for. I searched for him for about two years, I wanna say, a little less than two years, seemed like two years, and finally got him. Let me know what your grail is. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I drop cool shit like this all the time, old pieces, new pieces. I have five customs arriving in the next week, even though I'm not gonna be here to receive them. I do fly back quick one day though, so for like six hours, so. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, also, if you like this or like the channel, please give me a like. It helps it. Uh, dislikes also help it too, so go ahead and do that. But uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, take care.